Good morning, Pirates. Today is Wednesday, April 27th. Happy National Tell a Story Day and welcome to the morning show. First, please stand for the recitations of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico, the Zia symbol of perfect friendship among united cultures. Hello everyone, I'm Danielle Cavan. And I'm Ashton Gibson. And welcome to The Morning Show. It's only a week and a half away, and by now you know that the class of 2022 prom theme. But there is a reminder. This year will be a mass grade prom, and it will take place on Saturday, May 7th. The colors to wear are gold, white, red, and black. Underclassmen must be asked by a junior or senior in order to attend. The prom is free for seniors that have paid their class dues, so get it done. Juniors must pay their $50 class dues and buy a ticket to attend. And speaking of prom, Mr. Lowther has an opportunity for some of you young ladies that want to look your best. If you are currently don't have access to a dress for prom or some other formal event, Mr. Lowther welcomes you to come to his classroom to view dresses he has available for you to borrow at no cost. Also, if you are a female student that has dress at home take, that takes up space in the closet, Mr. Lowther encourages you to donate it to his cause. Please see Mr. Lowther for more information. So many of you may be wondering how the planning and preparation for prom is going. Recently, our Nathan Francis spoke with our junior class sponsor, Mr. Erdogan, about this subject. Hi, good morning. I'm Nathan Francis here with Angry Jack Productions at GHS. And today I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Ardagon for the 2022 school year for prom. Nathan, how's it going? Good, and you, Mr. Ardagon? I was just here to interview you about the um, setup and the cleanup for the prom school dance. Prom's coming together. It's going to be Saturday night, May 7th. We're going to have it there on the blacktop. Very similar to last year's setup. So those that went to prom last year, Mr. Gross class, they had put on prom, had the, the tent with the clear top. So. Mm -hmm. We weren't sure how the pandemic was going to look, so we wanted to make sure we could have something. So thankfully, the, the pandemic seems like it's it's subsiding, but we still needed to make sure we had our prom okay. So we're going to have prom out there on the blacktop. We're going to have the tent, pretty much a carbon copy of last year, but the theme this year is going to be masquerade ball. And the colors are black, red, gold, and white. Okay, and for students that would like to get involved on helping set up and helping clean up for the activity, what should they be expecting and who should they be talking to about it? Sure, you can reach out to me, my school email, that's Dominic, D-O-M-I-N-I-C dot Aragon at gccs.k12.nm.us if you want to get involved. We do meet in my classroom, room 207, every Friday morning. We have a good solid six students that come every week, but we can certainly use more hands. Okay, and for... Um, the activities at the prom is there any like special occasions like picture picture booths and um like dj yeah that's a great question we're gonna have a lot of good stuff when it comes to prom so we're gonna have we have a really good dj plan similar to last year kenneth brown photography is gonna come so if you want to get your photos taken we're gonna have a very nice backdrop we're also gonna have a photo booth set up through kenneth brown photography so you can go take your photo we'll print you up the little tickets so there's going to be some really cool activities. We're planning on some cool refreshments as well. So sodas and waters. We're going to have cosmic brownies, assorted candies at all the tables. So we're shaping it up to be really well. And we know your class really enjoys the cosmic brownies. That was a good sale a couple of years ago when we could do that. So kind of a cool little thing to, to kind of do a little tribute with that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So we have everything's coming together really well. And Ticket sales, they're going on sale. We're gonna be doing that online. So you can ask me more questions or you can ask Chanda down at, down at the bottom on the first floor. And yeah, any questions you guys have, just come find me in room 207. I'll do my best to answer. And if we don't know the answer, we'll find out together. Okay, thank you, Mr. Aragon, for all your help. And hopefully this year's prom goes well and according to plan. Thank you so much, it's gonna be fun. Mr. Aragon said he will keep us posted on any news and we will pass that on to you as soon as we can. If you've been in the library anytime soon, then you've seen the now completed mural done by Elizabeth Madrid, who designed and painted it over the course of weeks. Let's check out time lapse video of how it all came together.
Rams varsity baseball team has been getting quite a bit of attention lately, and for a good reason. But there are a few JV players making a splash as well, including freshman Ethan Taylor, who our own Santiago Paredes recently caught up with Take It Away. Hello, my name is Santiago Paredes. I'm here with Ethan Taylor. Today we're going to be talking about his baseball career. So what position do you play and how do you prepare for it? Um, I'm a pitcher and I start out by stretching and I do some pregame warm-ups. So I, I will throw before the game to make sure my arm is nice and warm. Talk about your baseball career leading up to your high school. Um, so I played City League and then we played in Albuquerque and we would travel to different states and play tournaments there. You played basketball before, so can you talk about what your favorite sport is out of the two? I don't think I really have a favorite because there are certain parts from each sport that I like better from one another, so I can't really say that I have a favorite. When was the last time you pitched, and how was the outcome of that game? Uh, the last time I pitched, I think, was Tuesday, and I pitched pretty all right, but we didn't do too good that game. All right, thank you for watching. For lunch today, we will be having taco salad with cheese, pinto beans, lettuce, tomatoes, and diced pears. Tomorrow's breakfast will be strawberry pancakes, fresh fruit, fruit juice, and milk. The, the GHS, GHS daily announcements are brought to you by Angry Jack Productions and the students of the broadcasting classes. And as always, we are GHS for success. <laughs>